That's my goal for the stream. Don't hit 2000s. Last time it was hit top 1000, which we just barely missed out on. But today is not to get back into 2000s. Base Carl, rank 6830. Uh, with a Sun offense team, probably just like Sunny Day, Fake Out, Quash, Willow Wisp on the Sableye. Uh, versus this. Versus this. Uh, I actually really like Tapu Fini Clefairy. I think it's really solid here. But I could. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. I actually outspeed the uh, the Raichu on lead. And what I can do... What I can do is... Get them to target something other than Tornadus. I don't think they're going to be scared of Tornadus. Okay, okay. So I go Spectrier. Can I go Spectrier, Tornadus? No. Clefairy, Tornadus. Bring the Tyranitar in the back. And I think I go Kartana to clean up once everything's gone. I think that's fine. I could go Tapu Fini, but a lot of things here threaten it, and I don't really like Spectre that much now that I look at it. All right. Now my goal here is going to be to max Rock Fall a Charizard. <laughs> that's the goal of this of this battle is max Rock Fall a Charizard. I definitely outspeed the Raichu because I'm speed crap for uh, for Thunderous. Sableye Charizard. Okay. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do here... What I'm going to do here first... Is... I'm going to Nasty Plot up. Or actually, I suppose I can Max Airstream first. Max Airstream and the Sableye follow me. And the reason I'm doing this first... Uh, is because I want them to go for their Sunny Day. I want them to Sunny Day first because it makes it easier for me to do what I want to do. If I were to switch into T-Tar, the Sunny Day would go second. Which would mean that I would hit them with a, a Max Flare. And not a Max Rock Ball. And I don't want to reveal Weather Ball yet, even though I believe a Max Flare would do more. Is they Dynamax? Good, good. Also, I'm Max Airstream because if they were to Max Airstream here instead of going for Max Wildfire, uh, that's just the safest way of going about this. Because it would make it so I outspeed them next turn. For real, bro? For real? You're not even going to go for the sun? This is my curse. This is my curse. This is how I have to play Pokemon for the rest of my life. With Ally Switch being a move. He wasn't even going to go for the Sun move, dude. He wasn't going to Sunny Day. That does a solid chunk. That does a very solid chunk. I might be able just to kind of helping hand. Okay. Clefairy lives. I am somewhat tempted... I am somewhat tempted just to max airstream again, to be very honest with you guys. It's safer. Nah, nah, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Thank you for wishing me luck. We're gonna do it. There's no way, there's no way they ally switch twice. Not when I hit their Charizard. Not when I hit their Charizard. They have to sunny day here, there's no way. They should be thinking, okay, I can live the hit. And I can KO them next turn or something like that. They're not they're not ally switching again. Well that's fun. But, but dude, what was the point of that? What did you explain? Explain yourself. Explain yourself, sir. I want you to explain that. Why did you click that move? Explain why you would do that in this situation at this time of day, located entirely within your kitchen. Okay, so good news is I really have nothing to fear here. I can click Max Strike 
on the Charizard and Rock Slide, and I think regardless of what they click, I still just get the KO. Like, because I still got the damage off. <clears throat> Why was that your Will-O-Wisp target, sir? I don't have Ally Switch. You have Ally Switch. Okay, so goodbye, Charizard. Goodbye. Ally Switch users are actually bots. Low-key, maybe. Maybe there are no real Ally Switch users, and they're all made up. I mean, obviously you couldn't Will-O-Wisp the Tyranitar, but why Will-O-Wisp either of these Pokemon? I would have been less surprised if they just ally switched again. Maybe they just really want that chip damage, but... I mean, they did manage to do one thing. They managed to make it so I can't get a speed boost in this T-Tar. But I don't know how much that's going to matter now. To be very honest with them. There's the Rillaboom. I kept my Clefairy, which is pretty baller. There's the Lando. I mean, I beat Lando with Kartana every time. I think I just beat both of these with Kartana. There's the Surge. The Surge. I'm going to go ahead and click Hurricane on the, on the Rillaboom. Lando isn't very scary. It can only really click Rock Sled. And I can't protect my torn anyway, so we'll just hurricane. 70% accurate, let's go. I don't need T-Tar, I'll rock slide. Who cares? There's the rock slide. Yeah, I didn't need torn. Rock slide back for damage. It's going to be a, you know, an okay amount. Uh, my main priority is obviously Lando, and I do have Grassy Terrain, so what I'm just going to do here is get in my cart and click Leaf Blade on it, and send in the Clefairy to help me eat a hit. Uh, something to note, Scarf Lando, because it outsped me. Is it? Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. No. I airstreamed once. Did it outspeed me or did I miss? I wasn't paying attention that last turn, but Scarf Lando likely. Maybe I just sound like an idiot here. I probably sound like an idiot. But Leaf Blade the Lando, they can't re-intimidate me. But I can unintimidate my T-Tar. Get in my cleft to help live whatever I go whatever they go for. Weak Blade? No, they're not Scarf. Yeah. I was I was tripping, dude. I was tripping. As they fly. Um Don't care. Sign to note, don't care. The fairy dies. <laughs> oh boy, I'm getting age restricted because I said that. Luckily, uh there is very little reason for them not to go for a grassy glide into my T-Tar. And I can just, like, Aerial Ace the Rillaboom and protect. I don't think they ever double. You flint? That's what it was. I, f I completely forgot the previous turn. They glide into nothing. I live this pretty easily. Do a solid chunk there. <laughs> they missed the fly. Sandstorm's gone. Not the end of the world. I didn't really need it. Okay, uh, maybe like AV Lando. I definitely think as long as I just get rid of the Lando, I win. So I can just Leaf Blade pretty reliably. And then beat the Rillaboom. So, I'll Leaf Blade Rock Slide. Actually, I think my play is technically just a Leaf Blade Protect. Go for a double. Okay, Protect, that's fine. Auntie, how you doing? Miss my double. You grassy Glide me. Uh, Grassy Train is gone, and they need a, they need to have, like, a fighting move to beat me with Rillaboom, to be honest. Just because I am Kartana. 
the goat of all Pokemon. Uh, I definitely knock out this Lando. Go for a Leaf Blade. They would need a double. Which I hope they don't get. Doing good? I got off of work. About an hour before I started streaming. There's no way they're running super power on this Rillaboom. Yeah, Grassy Glide. That's going to do like six. Eh, a little more than six, but not enough to matter. And now I just win by clicking Aerial Ace. Smart Strike. Any move, really. Leaf Blade might even be the best. <laughs> Leaf Blade might actually be the strongest at this point. Did the stream crash for anyone else? Or come close to doing that? Making sure. Alright, uh, Aerial Ace. I don't think they ever win. No? Okay, good. Watch them actually have superpower. That eh, doesn't matter. Let's go. So we finally got to use the, the Tornadoes. You know, we, we finally got to use the Tornadoes with Weather Ball. Unfortunately, our opponent was an ally switch user, so it made it a little bit more difficult to utilize, but I'm still cool with it. You know, we still got to use it. Okay. So we got that dub. I don't know how proud I am of that one, though. Ooh, 410. Now this would be a dub to be proud of. I'm not going to get it, but it'd be pretty cool if I did. It'd be pretty cool. All right. Uh, it was the equivalent of them running into the rock ball. Big facts, big facts, big facts. What I can do here... I definitely think Tapu Fini is going to be an MVP. As soon as that uh, Regieleki is gone. I think I can actually go like... I think they just lead off with Wim pretty much every time. Wim is definitely going to be on their lead. I kind of want to just go Clef Finny for that reason. I don't think Torn's a bad idea, but it's definitely not a good idea. Uh, I can go Clef Finny. Cartana doesn't seem bad. I think my last Mon... I could probably go Spectre. I'm just really weak to... I'm really weak with Tyranitar and Tornadus versus this team. So I kind of have to go Spectre. This team is a bit more frail than I want it to be. Am I too late for Weatherball Tornadus? No, no. We actually used it last game, but we're not going to be using it this game. So hopefully I can use it a couple more times before the stream is over. All right. Audio levels are fine, though, right? I'm not too loud. Game's not too loud. Let me know. Let me know. How you doing, Hoppin' John? What's my favorite Tapu? I'm gonna have to say Tapu Bulu, like, 100% of the time, like, every time, like, for the rest of my life. I love Tapu Bulu on my heart. But that's a pretty weak opinion, honestly. Like, I could go either way. Like, I would die for Tapu, you know, Tapu Bulu, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. Uh, I think what I want to do here is just go ahead and call them calling my follow me because they are a high ladder player. And assume they would go for a taunt. I can actually probably just protect here on their taunt and call mind. Let's go. Let's go. Not as much of a let's go moment. However, still an acceptable amount of go. Let's go and I'm calm, on. All right. Uh, so I could follow me, but I could also Icy Wind, assuming because I didn't get to see their item. I didn't get to see their item and that's concerning. They're running Switcheroo, so it could be like Lagging Tail or something. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Icy Wind for that reason, just to try to catch it and protect. Because if they're eject button, that's a big issue. That's a big issue. No maxing this turn, which is a good sign. Hopefully no, hopefully no flinching. No flinching, so I can Icy Wind here. Hopefully a dodge. 
No flinching. No flinching. I don't want to lose my calm mind because they're gonna... Okay. We connect. Eject button, please. Come on. There it is. Goodbye. Goodbye. Eject button, Whimsicott's Chaotic Evil. There's got to be like a Whimsicott alignment chart, sort of like how there was a Grimmsnarl alignment chart. And, ooh, that's an issue. You are my first priority. <laughs> Luckily, with Friend Guard, I should be able to take it relatively well. I'm going to go ahead and... What if I Icy Winded here and then just follow me the next turn? That's dumb. But I should definitely be targeting the Aleki. I think I might Icy Wind and Max. Just to guarantee it goes away forever. So the bad man can't hurt me. With Friend Guard plus Calm Mind, I should be able to take it better than Tapu Fini typically does. But not great. Uh, but this is just, I think, the safest way of going about getting rid of Reggie Aleki. Since it's likely to have a Sash. Um, I think plus one Geyser plus an Icy Wind will always do it. Of course, if they max, I'm going to be big sad. But they also haven't tailwinded yet, so that's cool. The Electro Ball. Oh, we're good. We're good. Rock Slide. Don't flinch my Clefairy. It's going to matter. It's going to matter. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Also, Electro Ball is kind of crazy. Okay, it wasn't Sash, so we're just kind of balling now. <laughs> we're just kind of balling at this point. I don't think I've clicked follow me once this game. Hey, thank you for not being Sash. I appreciate I appreciate you, dude. I appreciate you. Life Orb on Primarina, it's a lot more consistent. Hey, Life Orb Primarina is always a bot. You guys want to see me possibly one-shot a Celesteela? You want to see me possibly, popsically one-shot a Celesteela? And then go on to win with Kartana? Maybe my priority right now is Terrakion. Uh, 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 no. They do max. It's probably the Steela, and it's probably going to be going for a KO on my Clefairy. There it is. Luckily, I do have a Spectre, which outspeeds next turn, so I can just, like, Shadow Ball and be fine. And my Finny's going to go ahead and outspeed the Teraki on this turn, so that's pretty big. That's pretty big. This is going to be doing, I'm going to say, at least 60%. Because they protect. Nice. Nice. A max steel spike expected. I lose my Clefairy, but I likely don't lose the game because that was their max. They just kind of threw a max out. How much this guys are doing? It's definitely going to be in Shadow Ball range next turn, so. Oh, it's just gone. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just gone. That's cool. Um, I, I don't think I like that, though. That's the issue. I don't know if I like that. Actually, no, I should be fine. I should be fine. Tapu Fini definitely takes a plus four rock slide. And I can go into Kartana just to be safe. Just to be safe, I need to double into this Terrakion now. No, it's probably not Weakness Policy Terrakion. I'm going to go ahead and Leaf Blade. I just double into this every time. You have lost your Celesteela privileges. And like that, we have gotten a Nene. I will call that a Nene. Can I get Nene's in chat? I will call that game a Nene. I think I played that game pretty well. Or my opponent, I could have played that like an idiot. My opponent might be thinking Moxie Boost to play that like an idiot. 
All right. I do want to look at it, though. Life Orb. Ooh, Bulky Pulp. Focus Sash. That's where the Focus Sash was. Interesting you're running Sash and Beat Up. They didn't have Beat Up on the Whimsicott, so I just always won there. It's sort of a bluff, obviously. Magnet Alecky. Power Obstila, so it was... Oh my god, that was just Max Max. I'm not a fan of Max Max, to be honest. An AV... Brick Break! Hello? Base Department? Brick Break Landorus? That's kind of cool. I like the Brick Break Landorus tech. Alright. So I think we're top 1,000 now after that win. Hey, our nemesis. So another streamer. Let me see. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the Tornadus this game. Tornadus could be kind of cool. But it's also not, like, the best. It went down three points. Okay, so it looks like I disconnected, which kind of sucks. I think he'd be likely to... Hmm... Probably just lead off Zapdos. Zapdos is really solid versus my team. I'm going to go ahead and go Spectrier plus Clefairy for that reason. Uh, in the back, I can go Titar. Not looking great. Titar's not looking great, yeah. Tapu Fini looks pretty okay. Kartana also looks really good. I think I'll just go with this. Reginald. All right. First boost Zapdos. Glad I got that lead right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say he's gonna Dynamax the Zapdos and Max Airstream. I'm just going to Snarl follow me, and that should be fine. Uh, Tapu Fini will be really nice after that. Alright. Let's see. Hopefully it's not Bandit or Shifu, but... I need to feel like it might be. Because a Poison Jab into um, a Max Airstream will definitely KO my, my Clefairy. But I think I take an, a Max Airstream after a uh, Wicked Blow. Snarl off. Broke a possible sash on the Urshifu. Let's see if it's banded. We can tell by the moveset. Airstream. Yeah, I definitely take a Wicked Blow. And they can't Sucker Punch, really, if I follow me again next turn. They would have to Wicked Blow. There it is. So now I would assume they would just airstream again. I can get my Finny here, it's just not going to appreciate the hit. I think I have to do it anyways. I think my play is get in the Finny and protect. Yeah. That lets me keep my Clefairy. Unless they double into it for some reason. And at minus one, with like leftovers, Finny, and front guard, I should be fine. Versus Zapdos. And I'll see once the Urshifu is gone, I think Spectre is going to go kind of insane.
Airstream. Nice. I just barely live that, which is really good. They should be wicked blowing the finny. Alright, nice. So now I believe my play is just going to be follow me calm mind. Oh, they got a crit. Uh. <laughs> More like a cringe life form, yeah. Instead of a carbon based. Alright, uh, let me calm mind here. Follow me. The Zapdos always goes first, so I think that's a fine play. They detect. Nice. And I'm definitely going to be maxing this thing. They go for a max flare. Ah, uh, I was thinking maybe I might live that because it's not stab, but... Nah, not in the cards. That's probably just like a cautionary thing. Because they were likely expecting me to go for um, Max Geyser. So I know for a fact I'm going to start clicking the uh, the Max... Uh, what's it called? The uh, Max... I can't remember the name of the fairy move. Max uh, Starfall now. Now the main downside here is I definitely cannot protect my Spectrier. But... But I could make, I could use my brain here. I could use my brain here. I think what I'm gonna do is end up maxing the Spectrier, going for a max guard to block the the Wicked Blow, and just Moon Blasting. Since I'm not gonna take too much from the, um, or at least not an unmanageable amount from the Zapdos at this point, I should be able to do that since their play is pretty much always gonna be to target the, the Spectrier. We'll just use one of my, my Will-O-Wisps. We're going to be efficient. We're going to max guard off a Will-O-Wisp. The Zapdos is at minus one, and I'm at plus one. They withdraw the Urshifu. I might have been cringe there. I may have been a cringe player at, at that moment. So what you're telling me is I could have attacked. At the very least, I definitely should be taking this Rillaboom from them next turn. And that Rillaboom is probably in range of a max darkness. I'm kind of scared to click it, to be honest. I'm kind of scared to click it. But I also kind of just want to attack. I kind of want to do that. I think I want to predict them just to grassy glide into my Spectrier. But I can't lose Tapu Fini. Yeah, no, Tapu Fini is way too important. Is that in range of max darkness? 110. I'm going to say it's in range of 110 base power max darkness. I'll just do this. No, you know what? I need to get rid of the Zapdos. I need to get rid of the Zapdos, to be honest. Mainly just because Kartana is really good. They did double. They did double, but I should take it. Yeah, Kartana's really gross in the end game if I get rid of the Zapdos. That does it. Nice. And now I'm definitely in a pretty good position. Because I can sort of pin the uh the Urshifu. 
Yeah, I can kind of pin the Urshifu here because it's like, if it sucker punches into the Spectre, they lose the Urshifu to the Tapu Fini. But if they decide to um, protect it, like I can just get good damage, you know? I pretty much keep my, my Spectre for an extra turn. I'm going to say here they protect it. Just because it's my last turn of max, that's the safest thing. We'll see what they have next to it, though. Drakovish. Ooh, this is kind of an interesting situation. I'm going to go ahead and say I just win by Moonblasting Drakovish. And there's no reason not to just double into it. Since Tapu Fini takes, like, nothing from Dracovish at this point, I'm just going to double. What's the point of Tornadus on my team? Uh, it's basically just a little fun mod. Uh, it's able to... It's it's a sun, it's a hard sun counter. You're able to beat Venusaur with max Weather Ball in the sun in case they're running Koba Berry. That's safer. It's a much more reliable KO. But it's also able to mess with opposing flying types. Because if you lead off with Clefairy plus Tornadus, what you can do is you can go for a Nasty Plot and a Follow Me. And then on the next turn, and I definitely just won as long as I don't flinch. And then on the next turn, you'll be able to go for a max rock fall after switching in the uh, after switching in the Tyranitar, which is kind of fun. It's it's more of a fun team than like a very serious team, but it has alternate modes, so it's perfectly fine. They do go for the Wicked Blow, but I definitely just won. Good game to Nemesis. He's a really cool content creator. He's also, like, an amazing player, so. Oh, my Finny flinched. Peep this one. Nah, really. Peep this one. No more Urshifu. Nemesis. Oh, my God. What I can actually do just to secure the win is Will-O-Wisp and Moonblast. Because it's kind of funny. It doesn't really matter what I do. They can't KO my Mon. But I can also like avoid a Sucker Punch just for fun. Yeah. Uh, maybe they're trying to like regain their Sash. I think with two Grassy Terrains they could do it maybe? Our Sunlight's faded. Didn't ma that didn't really matter yet. All right. Yeah, they're just regaining their sash, uh, but it doesn't matter because I outspeed them with everything. What's up, Coda and Sparkling Pika? How we doing? I know you guys are you guys are regulars in my stream, so I just want I want to let you know the new stream time is pretty much always going to be 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Just so you know, keeping you guys updated. That's always going to be the stream time. Like my will o wisp and that's just because I got the new job, which uh, has me there till six. But also because I'm streaming late at night, I have to set up the annoying front-facing lamp. I actually could just plug this one in, but <laughs> all right. Hey, I'm glad it works out for you. Congrats on the new job. Thank you, Northwest. I appreciate that. And yeah, it just brings it back down to Sash range. Grass disappears from the battlefield, so I can just kind of calm mind up. Nah, it doesn't matter. I'll just Moonblast. And uh, we can just avoid all KOs. I'm getting the Kartana. Tackle I could tackle the Urshifu now and it would win. It's a good game to Nemesis. 